All natural deodorant. And I have to put it under my armpit for like a second just to warm it up. When they're natural, sometimes you have to warm it up with your own body heat. And then oh, it's amazing. And for natural deodorant, highly, highly recommend it. So this is my current favorite perfume, Rose of No Man's Land. I love rose, but it's not a traditional rose. It's like not what you're expecting from rose. It's sort of like, oh, it has a little depth to it and kind of earthiness and it's just so nice. And Byredo has so many like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scents. This is a small bottle, which I like because it keeps it fresh. I recently discovered Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I gotta tell you guys that it is the bomb. I feel like a lot of people have said this, and I kind of was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And I tried whatever kind. But there is something about this. I use taupe, it kind of shapes them. I'm sort of trying to grow them out, so I haven't been able to get them waxed at all lately, but this kind of gives them like a really good shape anyway. Oh, hang on. This is Gimme Brow by Benefit, and this actually colors your eyebrows. So, it has a little gel. So I just kind of put this over it. And boom. Who has a bald spot from over puffy? Not me. So I have had this planner. I actually bought it last year, which is a little bit of an investment from Louis Vuitton. I thought how fabulous to have everything you need in a planner and I sort of like having something tangible that I can bring with me aside from my phone so I end up kind of crossing them. But this year I just bought the insert paper. You can buy it from Louis Vuitton. You get a fabulous little Louis Vuitton bag, 60 bucks, which is kind of expensive. But for the whole year to keep carrying this cute little Louis Vuitton planner seems very worth it. and I'm obsessed with this cashmere sweater. It is made in Scotland, it's vintage. It was $12.95 $12 at the thrift store and I literally thought to myself, do I want to spend that much? But I am so glad I did. There's no holes, no imperfections, like no pilling and the even extra button is included. I gotta tell you, I've learned from Ladies of London that the finest cashmere in the world comes from Scotland and no doubt this has to be part of that. <laughs> so I love these jeans. I thought they were 501s. I think they might be wedgies, wedgie fit. But I love them because they're not super expensive. They're a good 501 feeling. They button all the way up. And I have a couple pairs of authentic 501s that are bomb. But I need to lose about 10 pounds for those super fit. They're a little tight. So that's not what's happening. I started looking around and like Redone does, 501's Redone, they're almost $300. And I was like, I really don't want to spend that much. And so I found these at Urban Outfitters and I think they're like 80. And I love them. They have like a raw hem and they're not boyfriendish. I think a lot of times they're redoing them. And so they kind of hang. These fit like 501's and I love them. I am obsessed with these sandals because I feel like I get to cash in on the strappy trend, but they're super comfortable right away. They're not super expensive. They're well made. And because they're nude, they're really flattering and it just kind of elongates your leg, but like in a really embellished kind of way. I don't know, I just love them. I think they're the bomb.com. I have to say, Steve Madden, you do good shoes. You're my favorite. Except for you, you're my other fave. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, this is my favorite ever right now, and they actually have a lotion as well that I actually really want to get. I bought it at the Natural Foods Market, Amazing Minerals Skin Polish for Face, Body, and Hands. And I'm going to tell you, you put this on yourself like three times a week, however many times you want to use it, and I love this, imported for you, for me, okay? Imported from Israel. Goodbye to drippy, drippy, slippery, oil leaking everywhere scrubs and hello to our soft, creamy, easy to apply all natural skin polish. So what you wanna do, and this is how I first tried it, I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. It's not too expensive and I've seen so many like Dead Sea Minerals from all over for a lot of money and so I was curious. I like natural things if possible. And you just kind of rub it in until the grains go away. And the top of my hand versus the other top of my hand I'm gonna have Maddie be our test. Feel the difference. This one's drying up a little bit, and this one's probably Isn't it? It makes a huge difference. See, it makes a huge difference. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like my favorites video. I'm trying things a little bit different, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. You know I love you. Bye.